Hey guys, what is up? Hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm going to be reviewing Lululemon's Invigorate Leggings. These are a little hefty. They're like $125 I believe for the full length and then for the crop they're like $119. I will have to double check on that. But they're still pretty expensive. I did get a pair that was on sale, so it was $99. Because they're pretty expensive, I am going to be trying them out and um, I'm going to be stretching them, doing a workout, and I'm actually going to do like a light run, maybe a mile, mile and a half, and see if they're a overall performance leggy. For the price, hopefully it does hold up. All right, let's get to it. What is up people? Back from my run. I am super hot and sweaty. I completely forgot how hot and humid it is outside. These leggings were not the right choice for Florida summer weather, let me tell you. Leggings are Everlux fabric, so they're a combination of Luxury and Nulu. But because it has that Nulu fabric in it, it is so freaking hot. And I forgot that that is one of the reasons I don't like the line leggings. It's because it gets really hot and humid when I'm working out. But let me tell you, these leggings did hold up. I had my phone in my pocket and I had my keys in the other side of the pocket. They were not writing down. They were nice and compressed, which is great when you're running. I do approve of these leggings for running, but in the right climate because Florida, no, no, sorry. These leggings are not sweat proof at all. I just noticed that, so eek. This is a darker color, so obviously in a lighter color, they're not going to be sweat proof. Alright, so let me show you guys. Hello guys, it's day two. Just for the record, I did wash my leggings last night before I went to the gym this morning, so they were nice and clean. Um, I did go to the gym, it was leg day, and I am super sweaty. And just like yesterday, these leggings were a bad idea. So my gym is a garage gym, so it's very enclosed, and the AC is usually not on. So it gets really hot and humid, and I was just like ready to take these off. But let me show you the sweat marks on this part of the leggings, and there's some on the back. Overall, I like them and I do think I would buy another pair at the sale price, probably not the retail price. The retail price is $128. It's just a little too hefty for my liking. If there's another color that I actually liked, I would probably get them. This is the color Black Current, which is like a purplish color. I did try the navy, not the navy, the olive green color and I tried the other color that was like a lighter green. And the fit were a lot different. Those fit me like other size six leggings fit me. These obviously, as you could tell in some of the pictures and videos, they were a little tight around the tummy area. It would give me a little muffin top, which I think was the reason I actually enjoy them when I was running. One thing to know, I was super bloated the first day that I took the video. The night before I had some wine and wine usually makes me bloated. I also had pizza and mac and cheese during the day. I'm lactose intolerant. Like any lactose does not do good with my body. So I was super, super bloated. And the next day while doing leg day, they were a little compressive, but they weren't as tight as the first day. So if you're not a person that usually bloats a lot or you're not lactose intolerant like me and you start binge eating anything that has lactose in it, you should be fine. I'm in a long debate. I couldn't figure out if the leggings were scrap proof or not. I did ask my husband and he couldn't figure it out either. You could see some shadowing of like where my panties started and ended kind of. 
and there was like some shimmer going on but you can't really tell the color if that makes any sense for me they were squat proof or at least nine out of ten squat proof and then after i got done working out i realized something and i can't believe it took me this long to realize it but the dub the pocket in the back is double layered and then i realized that's why it's so freaking hot it's because it's double layered so this inside part has the same color or the actual color that's supposed to be for the legging so when you stretch it out you don't see anything it's just that little shimmery part of when the legging is being stretched out so they're squat proof always make sure to check before wearing them out in public so some of the cool features about this it has a drawstring in the front which you can tie up for running which is nice also has a back pocket this back pocket is like double layer it's super thick and it has this extra layer of protection so if you put your keys in here you kind of close it up a little bit and then just close that up and you're good to go i didn't mind paying a hundred dollars for these is because of the pocket I'm a pocket kind of gal. The leggings are 80% nylon, 20% elastane, which just pretty much means it's supposed to be sweat wickening, breathable. It's supposed to stretch with your body, shape retention. It has that four way stretch that it moves with your body and to keep you cool, which didn't really do that for me, but it might do that for somebody else. Overall, I do like them. I recommend them if you can afford them. All right. That is it guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.